Alrighty, so starting from the entrance, you can see I used a bunch of the new pieces to kind of decorate the ambience of the desert dome entrance over here. And I think it came out pretty well. I used the plaster pieces and the little meerkat uh, wall signs and it came out pretty well. And also, shout out to Ricey for her awesome awesome font so on the ground we have the new mosaic tiles and they just kind of fit well with the whole style i'm going for and it's kind of like a modern with a moroccan slash a, a desert architectural north african kind of vibe so let's head on in okay so the first habitat we get on to is obviously the star of the show which are the meerkats and they're not outside yet uh they, it's probably because of all the people that were outside. They must have scared them inside. But hey, here are they coming out right now. They just look so awesome with their animations, especially the digging. It just looks pretty incredible. So uh, this habitat, I really, really love uh, how it came out because um, with, with the background, I kind of made a blend <laughs> with the background with the cactus and everything. And with all the new um, foliage, like with the, I really love this palm and especially the grass we got, it really makes this habitat come to life. Oh, alrighty, look at them. They're all sleuthing around. They must have been tired of like digging all around all day. So let's just leave them to their sleep and take a look at the rest of the dome. All right, so if you guys have a keen eye, you would, uh, know recognize that this dome is inspired by the indianapolis zoo's desert dome and so uh this whole thing when i saw the picture of it i was like oh i should really do that in planet zoo so this was very much inspired by the feel and look of it and uh not exactly like the layout the layout i came up with the layout but it's pretty much similar to it so if we take a look down here we're gonna be getting towards the uh the little exhibits over here so since i wanted this to be like uh, africa animals and stuff like that uh, i put in some of the puff adders which are from north which are from africa and i also put in the gila monsters which also uh really fit in with the dome so if you come out over here uh we have another habitat which is for the uh the advark but there, it's probably sleeping because that's what it does so you only get a glimpse at some times of the day but yeah this is kind of connects in so that if you do, people don't want to like uh take a look at the exhibits they can just quickly detour and also to also kind of really distribute the guest flow and everything so so yeah so my idea for this little bridge over here is that it's hanging over the advark enclosure so over here i made it look like a cliff and did a bit of kind of sort of forced perspective with the rocks so if you look down over here you would it kind of looks like uh it's much deeper than it actually is but it's pretty much just this but, but i now put the grass in there and it really gives this a really tavern uh deep kind of look and i thought that was really awesome so this that's pretty much it for the dome really love how it came out uh, it was a pain to make the dome of course as always especially with like uh with the little uh the fiddliness of the gizmo <laughs> but in the end i'm really really satisfied with how it came out be sure to check out the video on the right if you want to see my build for the african penguin exhibit and the video on the left is something that youtube wants you to check out so yeah see you later guys and until then bye for now